Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. We're going to be talking about a gold shuffle that is an oldie but a goodie. And you're basically AFK the whole time, which is pretty awesome. Before we do that, though, don't forget to check out goldcapped.com. There's a link in the description down below, as well as a discount code. A lot of good gold guides over there, as well as access to a members only Discord channel. If you want to support this channel, don't forget you can leave a super thanks or sign up to be a member. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about tailoring and a shuffle that was not very good for a while, but now has become good. I'm talking about turning cloth into spools here. So let's look at the numbers first and see exactly why this is good. And then we'll talk about um, the build that I currently have, one that I think would be you know better than the one that I have right now, and then some things that are going to help you get more gold per hour. So you will have to have tailoring for this. You do not need to be max level. So you could uh, just be like level 70, 71, 72, whatever. You don't need to be 80. You just need to have access to the tailoring in the War Within, the latest one, Kaz uh, Algar tailoring. So this is essentially what we're doing. We are unraveling. We are turning... Um, weaves, uh, specifically dawn weave or uh, dusk weave. So, for example, right here we've got this dusk weave. It's going to take five dusk weave to make a spool here. We're going to unravel it. We're going to hit create, and then that is going to give us right there five. So that's that's basically the shuffle. Now let me tell you uh, how good this is at the moment. It's going to depend on the prices uh, whenever you're doing this, but right now it's been pretty good for me so let's look i just did how many did i do i just did two thousand of these right so i bought two thousand dusk weave i bought the rank two uh, because the rank three is a lot more um gold and i was just doing some samples to see you know because not everybody has all this gold laying around so we're just going to type in dusk here and we are going to look current expansion only. Let's search. So this is what I did. I bought the dusk weave right here at rank two and crafted it into a lot of the spool of uh, dusk thread right here. So I bought 2,000 of them for 58,742 gold. And what I got was this 1,808 spool of dusk thread. So let's just see how much gold we're gonna make just off of this. So here's the sell, and we're gonna sell max all that we have. So right now, this is 67,673 gold. Now the auction house does take a percent of that. So what you would do is you would take this right here, the total price, 67,673, and then you need to minus the 5% that the auction house is going to take. And that's going to leave us with 64289 And then we're going to minus our original cost of 58742 And that's going to give us left over 5547 gold. And these things are going to sell like hotcakes, right? And so, I mean, even if it was up to 38 like if these sold out, that's going to be extra gold as well. So bought 2,000 of them. Made 5,547 gold. That's not too bad for being AFK, right? So this does take time to do though. So there's some things that you can do to speed up this process. The biggest one I would recommend is getting this, the file of enhanced MB dexterity. And you can get like rank one, two, three. Uh, I just got the rank two and it increased my crafting speed by 10. And if you look, the reason I got the rank two is because the rank three is uh, is pretty crazy uh, in price, right? So the rank two is 100 gold, and then the rank three is 1,000 gold. It does give you a little bit more of a uh, percentage, but really the rank two will be just fine. Rank two for all the stuff will be just fine. The higher the rank you get, though, you know, obviously the more you're going to make if 
the spools rank three are selling higher, but that's not even necessarily the case because if the rank three thread is a lot, you may end up uh, losing. So make sure you have your file of enhanced ambidexterity to make your crafting speed faster. It's going to may not seem like a lot, but it's really, really going to help, right? Your gold per hour. Okay. And then make sure you see which threads that you want to do, either dawn weave or dusk weave, or even just check out the regular weaving as well, like weaver cloth right here. And you can see how much those spools are going for. And so you get the idea, right? You're checking the price. But to make sure that you're going to make a profit, you're going to want to take the total amount that is going to be from the spool minus 5% right like minus your cost of what the thread was uh, to get what the cloth was so that's the shuffle additionally you also want to make sure that you have the severed satchel equipped now this gives you a maximum yield for unraveling increase by one which when you're doing thousands of these is definitely going to pay off now as far as specializations go i'm sort of all over the board because i started putting it into like from dusk till dawn started putting in quality fabric so i'm sort of all over the place but if i was going to start this from scratch these are the ones that that i would i would put into that i'm putting into now right so i'll do quality fabric and then get over here and i would make sure that i max this out at some point because this is giving you plus 10 skill and resourcefulness resourcefulness is going to help you say instead of using five um, cloth you're going to use three right and that adds up if you're doing this thousands at a time so i would put points into weaving and unraveling so i would definitely start over here which you can see i did not but i would start here to make sure you get that resourcefulness because over thousands at a time it's going to add up and then make sure on your tools up here, and you can see my tools aren't the greatest. I mean, this is like rank one, rank two, and then here's the quality here. Um, but crafting speed and resourcefulness would really help on these as well. So that is the shuffle. The cool thing about that is, is you can buy these, like I said, thousands at a time. You can hit craft and you can walk away and go do something else and come back. And then you're going to have something to put on the auction house and make some gold with and so as you can see right this is sort of i mean this is pre-recorded but this is live i just posted these and then boom right here they already sold so once you set them up and you get them made they're going to sell pretty fast so go out there and start uh start getting that shuffle on making gold let me know what you think have a fun time playing the game and until next time i'll catch you all later